LL Cool J, an American rapper and actor, has carved a significant niche in both the music and entertainment industries. With a staggering net worth of $120 million, he stands as a pioneering figure in hip-hop, having been among the first to transition from underground success to mainstream recognition. His multifaceted career extends beyond music, highlighted by his prominent role in the network television series NCIS, Los Angeles, where he commands a salary of $350,000 per episode. Beyond his impressive financial stature, LL Cool J boasts a remarkable musical legacy. As a two-time Grammy Award winner, his influence spans across generations. His catalog includes iconic hip-hop tracks like Go Back to Cali, I'm Bad, The Boomin' System, Rock the Bells, and Mama Said Knock You Out. Yet, LL Cool J's versatility extends into the realm of R&B, where hits such as Doin' It, I Need Love, Around the Way Girl, and Hey Lover, have captivated audiences worldwide. The recognition of LL Cool J's impact on the music landscape is evident in various accolades. In 2010, VH1 honored him as one of the top 100 artists of all time, a testament to his enduring influence. Furthermore, LL Cool J's significance transcends the confines of popular culture, as demonstrated by his historic induction into the Kennedy Center Honor in 2017, marking him as the first rapper to receive such recognition. His legacy was further solidified in 2021 when he was inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame with the prestigious Excellence in Music Award. James Todd Smith, born on January 14, 1968, in Bay Shore, New York, his early years were marked by profound challenges. Raised in a middle-class, Catholic household in Queens, LL Cool J's childhood was marred by tragedy when his father, James Lewis Smith Jr., known as James Nunya, committed a violent act, shooting his mother, Andrea Griffith, and grandfather, nearly claiming their lives. At the tender age of four, LL Cool J stumbled upon the harrowing aftermath, confronted by a scene of unimaginable horror. In the aftermath of this traumatic event, LL Cool J and his mother sought refuge, relocating to his grandparents' home in St. Albans, Queens. However, the sanctuary provided by this move was tainted by further turmoil, as LL Cool J endured both physical and emotional abuse at the hands of his mother's former partner, Roscoe. Despite the adversity he faced, LL Cool J found solace and expression through music, particularly inspired by the burgeoning hip-hop scene of the 1970s and 1980s. At the age of 10, LL Cool J began to immerse himself in rap, drawing inspiration from iconic groups like The Treacherous Three. By 1984, at just 16 years old, he was already honing his craft, recording demo tapes in the confines of his grandparents' home. Encouraged by his grandfather, a jazz saxophonist, LL Cool J received invaluable support in the form of musical equipment, including turntables, a mixer, and an amplifier, facilitating his artistic pursuits. Amidst the challenges of his upbringing, LL Cool J found moments of reconciliation and guidance, notably from his father, who played a pivotal role in offering mentorship as his son embarked on his musical journey. Additionally, LL Cool J's mother demonstrated unwavering support, investing her tax refund in purchasing him a Korg drum machine, further fueling his passion for music. As LL Cool J's musical ambitions took shape, serendipity intervened with the founding of Def Jam recordings by Rick Rubin and Russell Simmons, providing a platform for burgeoning talents within the hip-hop genre. Armed with determination and a burgeoning talent, LL Cool J seized the opportunity to showcase his skills, producing and mixing his own demos and distributing them to record labels across New York City, including Def Jam. LL Cool J's ascent into the realm of hip-hop stardom is a tale woven with determination, creativity, and a stroke of serendipity. In the VH1 documentary, Planet Rock, the story of hip-hop and the crack generation, LL Cool J, born James Todd Smith, unveils the genesis of his iconic stage name. Originally dubbed Jay Ski, he harbored reservations about aligning himself with the burgeoning cocaine culture permeating the hip-hop scene of the 1980s. Aware of the connotations associated with terms like ski or blow in stage names, LL Cool J sought a moniker that would resonate without evoking such imagery. It was amidst this contemplation that LL Cool J found his identity, courtesy of his friend and fellow rapper, Mikey D coined as an abbreviation for Ladies Love Cool James. The name LL Cool J encapsulated both his charismatic persona and his appeal to a broad audience. 
This pivotal moment marked the beginning of LL Cool J's journey with Def Jam Recordings, a legendary label that would become synonymous with the rise of hip-hop. Under the banner of Def Jam, LL Cool J made his official debut with the release of the 12-inch single, I Need a Beat, in 1984. The track, characterized by its infectious rhythm and vibrant rhymes, served as a testament to LL Cool J's raw talent and street-style prowess. Reflecting on his decision to join Def Jam, LL Cool J expressed gratitude for finding a home where his musical aspirations could flourish. The trajectory of LL Cool J's career took a decisive turn with his professional concert debut at Manhattan Center High School. Accompanied by his DJ, Cut Creator, LL Cool J electrified the audience with his dynamic performance, leaving an indelible impression on the crowd. The overwhelming response, marked by the clamor of adoring fans and requests for autographs, crystallized LL Cool J's resolve to pursue music as his life's calling. The success of, I Need a Beat, not only propelled LL Cool J into the spotlight but also solidified Def Jam's position as a pioneering force in the music industry. Alongside the Beastie Boys, Rock Hard, LL Cool J's debut single played a pivotal role in securing Def Jam a distribution deal with Columbia Records in the subsequent year. Released on November 18, 1985, under the banner of Def Jam Recordings, Radio garnered widespread acclaim for its innovative production and LL Cool J's formidable rapping skills. Its impact on the music industry was immediate and profound, setting new benchmarks for commercial success within the hip-hop genre. The album's commercial triumph was evident from the outset, with sales exceeding 500,000 copies within its first five months of release. By 1988, Radio had surpassed the 1 million mark in album sales, a testament to its enduring popularity and cultural significance. Certified Platinum by the Recording Industry Association of America RIAA, the album solidified LL Cool J's status as a bona fide hip-hop icon. Charting new territory, Radio ascended to number 6 on the top R&B hip-hop albums chart and reached number 46 on the prestigious Billboard 200 albums chart. Its sustained presence on these charts, spanning 47 weeks on the top R&B hip-hop albums chart and 38 weeks on the pop albums chart, underscored its enduring appeal and lasting impact on music enthusiasts across the nation. At the heart of radio's success were standout tracks like I Can't Live Without My Radio and Rock the Bells, which not only captivated audiences but also propelled the album to platinum status. These singles, infused with LL Cool J's distinctive style and lyrical prowess, resonated with listeners and solidified his reputation as a trailblazing force in the hip-hop landscape. The album's triumphs extended beyond commercial success, paving the way for LL Cool J to embark on larger-than-life ventures. As one of the first hip-hop artists to achieve mainstream recognition alongside luminaries like Curtis Blow and Run DMC, LL Cool J found himself headlining gigs at prominent venues and joining prestigious tours such as the 1986-87 Raising Hell Tour alongside Run DMC and the Beastie Boys. Moreover, LL Cool J's groundbreaking appearance on American Bandstand, a revered institution in the music industry, marked a watershed moment for hip-hop, signaling its ascent into mainstream consciousness. His collaboration with music icon Diana Ross on her 1987 television special, Red Hot Rhythm and Blues, further solidified his status as a cultural phenomenon, transcending the confines of the hip-hop genre. Behind the scenes, radio also played a pivotal role in shaping the career trajectory of renowned producer Rick Rubin. The album, alongside other seminal works like Raising Hell and Licensed to Ill, showcased Rubin's minimalist production style, which would become synonymous with the gritty sound of hip-hop. His early contributions to the genre not only cemented his legacy as a pioneer but also established his reputation as a visionary within the music industry. Following the monumental success of his debut album, LL Cool J returned in 1987 with Bigger and Deffer, produced by DJ Pooh and the LA Posse. The album achieved remarkable commercial success, selling over 2 million copies in the United States alone. Its dominance on the charts was undeniable spending 11 weeks at number one on Billboard's R&B Albums Chart and peaking at number three on the Pop Albums Chart. This album further cemented LL Cool J's position as a formidable force in the music industry. In 1990, LL Cool J released Mama Said Knock You Out, a pivotal moment in his career. Produced by Marley Marl, the album garnered critical acclaim and achieved double platinum status. 
surpassing 2 million copies in sales according to the RIAA. With tracks like the title song, LL Cool J silenced any doubts about his relevance in the ever-evolving landscape of hip-hop, earning him a Grammy Award for Best Rap Solo Performance in 1992. Continuing his prolific output, LL Cool J released 14 Shots to the Dome in March 1993, featuring notable singles like How I'm Comin' and Backseat of My Jeep. The album's success was underscored by its gold certification, further solidifying LL Cool J's reputation as a hitmaker. Throughout the years, LL Cool J remained at the forefront of the hip-hop scene, adapting to changing tastes and trends while staying true to his signature style. His 2000 album, G.O.A.T., Greatest of All Time, debuted at number one on the Billboard Albums Chart and achieved platinum status, marking yet another milestone in his storied career. Collaborations with artists like Cannabis and Innovative Production from the likes of Timbaland further cemented LL Cool J's status as a trailblazer in the genre. With each subsequent release, LL Cool J continued to push the boundaries of hip-hop, exploring new sounds and collaborating with a diverse range of artists. His 11th album, Todd Smith, released in 2006, showcased his versatility with collaborations featuring artists like Jennifer Lopez and Joel Santana. In addition to his musical endeavors, LL Cool J's contributions to the entertainment industry extended beyond the recording studio. He received a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame in 2016. A fitting tribute to his enduring legacy. Despite briefly announcing his retirement in 2016, LL Cool J remains a prominent figure in the music world, hosting prestigious events like the Grammy Awards and the iHeartRadio Music Awards in 2022. LL Cool J's remarkable journey from a young rapper with a dream to an acclaimed artist and cultural icon is a testament to his talent, perseverance, and enduring impact on the world of music. As he continues to inspire audiences with his electrifying performances and timeless music, LL Cool J's legacy will undoubtedly endure for generations to come. Other business projects LL Cool J's influence extends far beyond the realm of music, encompassing a diverse array of business ventures and entrepreneurial endeavors. In the mid-1980s, he ventured into the world of fashion, collaborating with the hip-hop sportswear line Troop and launching his own clothing line under the moniker, Todd Smith. This urban clothing brand quickly gained popularity, drawing inspiration from LL Cool J's lyrics, tattoos, and the broader hip-hop community. In addition to his foray into fashion, LL Cool J is also an accomplished author, having penned four books that offer insights into his life and career. His autobiography, I Make My Own Rules, co-written with Karen Hunter, provides a candid look at his journey to stardom. He also delved into children's literature with, and the winner is, and co-authored a fitness book titled, The Platinum Fitness, with his personal trainer, Dave, Scooter, Honig. Furthermore, LL Cool J's contributions to hip-hop culture are chronicled in LL Cool J, Hip-Hop Stars, co-written with hip-hop historians Dustin Sheckle and Chuck D. Beyond the written word, LL Cool J has made significant strides in the music industry through various business ventures. In 1993, he founded the music label Pog, Power of God, and established Rock the Bells, a company dedicated to music production. Under the Rock the Bells label, LL Cool J showcased emerging talent such as A Myth, Smokeman, Natus, Chantel Jones, and Simone Starks. Notably, Rock the Bells records played a pivotal role in producing the soundtrack for the 1999 film, Deep Blue Sea, further solidifying LL Cool J's presence in the entertainment industry. In 2008, LL Cool J ventured into the realm of digital innovation with the launch of Boomdizzle.com a record label and social networking site tailored to aspiring artists, particularly within the hip-hop genre. This platform provided a space for artists to upload their music and engage with a community of fans through contests, voting, and other interactive events, fostering creativity and collaboration within the music industry. LL Cool J's entrepreneurial spirit extends beyond traditional business ventures, as evidenced by his appearance during the WrestleMania 31 introductions in March 2015. His diverse portfolio of endeavors underscores his multifaceted talents and enduring influence across various domains, solidifying his status as a cultural icon and visionary leader in the entertainment industry. Ladies and gentlemen, this is probably the part we look forward to the most. Now we take you on a tour of the mansions owned by LL Cool right here.
Mansion in Manhasset, New York. LL Cool J's abode in Manhasset, NY, acquired in 1999 for $2,900,000, serves as a haven for the actor-rapper, his wife, and their three daughters and son. Boasting a blend of modern design and functional layout, the home exudes elegance and comfort at every turn. Upon entering, guests are greeted by floor-to-ceiling windows that flood the space with natural light. Accentuating the beautiful wood floors and custom furnishings, the first floor encompasses a cozy living room with a stone fireplace, a spacious dining area, and a great room adorned with a wood-burning fireplace, perfect for family gatherings. The modern kitchen, complete with stone countertops quartz and custom cabinetry, offers a delightful dining area for casual meals. The master bedroom, a serene retreat, features a spa-like bathroom for ultimate relaxation, while a secondary bedroom with a full bath provides additional comfort. A convenient laundry room completes the first floor amenities. Ascending to the second floor reveals three spacious bedrooms, two full bathrooms, and a loft, office space, ideal for work or relaxation. Spanning an impressive 5,701 square meters, the home's lower level offers endless possibilities, with a complete yet partially finished layout, inviting homeowners to customize the space according to their preferences. Surrounded by a sprawling 1196-acre park, LL Cool J's residence promises a harmonious blend of tranquility and convenience. Providing an idyllic backdrop for cherished memories to unfold. Mansion in Bay Shore, New York. In a serene spot on the peninsula sits this remarkable 2,940-square-foot home, boasting five bedrooms and four bathrooms. Its charm lies not only in its fusion of traditional and contemporary elements but also in its prime waterfront location. Nestled beside a tranquil canal overlooking the coast, this property offers a sense of calmness and scenic water vistas. Positioned near the Great South Bay, it provides easy access to the beauty of the water, perfect for indulging in leisurely moments by the shore. With the beaches just a stone's throw away, residents can bask in endless days of sunshine, sand, and relaxation. The backyard is a haven in itself, featuring a fence that opens to accommodate a boat, making it ideal for water enthusiasts. The spacious yard boasts well-tended gardens and a sizable shed, offering ample outdoor space for various activities. Inside, the home is designed for both comfort and functionality. With five bedrooms and three bathrooms, there's room for all, ensuring everyone enjoys their own private space. The master suite, with its private bathroom and captivating water views, serves as a tranquil sanctuary for homeowners. Additionally, the second bedroom on the first floor comes complete with its own bathroom, providing convenience and privacy for guests. This home combines the best of waterfront living with modern comforts, making it an idyllic retreat for those seeking peace, relaxation, and coastal charm. Mansion in Queens, New York. Nestled within an idyllic European-inspired setting, this meticulously renovated luxury home stands as a testament to the seamless fusion of classic opulence and contemporary elegance. Boasting a spacious layout comprising five bedrooms and four bathrooms, this residence offers a sanctuary of privacy and comfort for its occupants. Upon entering, one is immediately struck by the grandeur of the ballroom-sized living room, adorned with soaring ceilings and exquisite custom moldings reminiscent of elegant European design. The ambiance is further enhanced by the presence of custom oak floors, meticulously laid throughout the home, exuding a sense of timeless sophistication. Every aspect of this residence has been meticulously curated, with careful attention paid to even the smallest details. Radiant heat-resistant tiled floors ensure comfort and durability, adding to the overall sense of luxury and refinement. The heart of this home lies within its custom chef's kitchen, a masterfully designed space that seamlessly blends functionality with aesthetic appeal. Adorned with stainless steel appliances and gleaming marble countertops, the kitchen serves as a focal point for culinary excellence and comprehensive entertainment, offering the perfect backdrop for gatherings and celebrations. For those seeking relaxation and recreation, the full basement provides an oasis of luxurious comfort, offering ample space for leisure activities and entertainment. Convenience is paramount in this coveted locale, with amenities such as a nearby park with tennis courts. Transportation options, shopping centers, the LIRR, and esteemed educational institutions all within easy reach. Whether it's indulging in the tranquility of the surroundings or exploring the vibrant community, this luxury home offers a lifestyle of unparalleled sophistication and convenience. 
But dear viewers, the story continues as we take you to see the beauty of his shiny car collection now. Cars. The allure of luxury cars has long captivated celebrities, and LL Cool J is no exception. With his admiration for the Rolls Royce Wraith evident in a recent Twitter post. The Rolls Royce Wraith boasts a plethora of luxurious features, including a leather wrapped steering wheel, power windows, rear window defroster, and dual electrically adjustable heated front seats all aimed at maximizing driving comfort. Priced at $288,000, this exquisite vehicle is powered by a formidable 6-liter turbocharged V12 engine, delivering a staggering 624 horsepower and 590 pound-foot of torque. Paired with an 8-speed automatic transmission, the Wraith accelerates from 0 to 100 km per hour in just 4 seconds and boasts a top speed of 155 miles per hour, ensuring a thrilling driving experience. In contrast, the Audi 100, priced at approximately $41,000, offers a blend of elegance and performance. Equipped with a 172 horsepower, 3 liter 6 cylinder engine, this sleek sedan delivers impressive power, especially at cruising speeds. Standard features include leather upholstery, heated front and rear seats, electronic climate control, and a hands free cell phone with voice recognition capability, enhancing both comfort and convenience for occupants. Among LL Cool J's enviable car collection sits the iconic Ferrari F40, a prized possession coveted by car enthusiasts worldwide. With only 400 units produced for the US market in 1991, LL Cool J counts himself fortunate to own one of these rare gems. Although critics highlight the car's limited interior space and lack of luxury amenities like air conditioning and a sound system, the F40's lightweight construction, comprising aluminum, carbon fiber, and Kevlar, prioritizes drivability and racing performance. Priced at $4 million, the Ferrari F40 is propelled by a twin-turbo V8 engine with a 3-liter capacity, generating an impressive 471 horsepower and 426 pound-foot of torque. Mated to a 5-speed manual transmission, this iconic supercar accelerates from 0 to 60 miles per hour in a mere 4 seconds and boasts a top speed of 200 miles per hour delivering an exhilarating driving experience synonymous with the Ferrari mark. LL Cool J's philanthropic efforts are as notable as his journey of overcoming adversity and showcasing his acting prowess. His philanthropic spirit shines through his significant donations totaling millions of dollars to many organizations in diverse locations. Philanthropy Among LL Cool J's charitable endeavors is his own foundation, Jump and Ball, which is based in his hometown of Queens, New York. This organization provides sports and team building programs for youth, aiming to empower them and foster their personal development through athletic activities. In addition to his foundation, LL Cool J is actively involved in supporting various philanthropic activities, including literacy, music, and art programs for children in schools. His contributions extend to a diverse array of charity organizations, each addressing critical needs and making a tangible difference in communities worldwide. One such organization is Chrysalis, a nonprofit dedicated to helping economically disadvantaged and homeless individuals achieve self sufficiency through employment opportunities. LL Cool J's support has played a pivotal role in transforming the lives of over 2,000 individuals annually, providing them with the means to secure jobs and build a brighter future. LL Cool J also lends his support to CORE, Community Organized Relief Effort, formerly known as JPHRO an organization dedicated to saving lives and strengthening communities affected by crises. From providing immediate aid in the aftermath of the 2010 earthquake in Haiti to ongoing efforts in disaster mitigation and community development, CORE's impactful work aligns with LL Cool J's vision of a world where at-risk communities are resilient and empowered. Furthermore, LL Cool J backs the Diamond Empowerment Fund, which focuses on supporting education initiatives in African countries where diamonds are a natural resource. By investing in education, this fund aims to uplift communities and create opportunities for individuals in diamond-producing regions. Additionally, LL Cool J supports organizations like Jumpstart, Musi Cares, Centibale, and World Vision, each dedicated to addressing various social and humanitarian challenges. Whether it's providing critical assistance to music industry professionals in times of need or supporting children and young people in Lesotho, LL Cool J's philanthropic contributions leave a lasting impact, embodying his commitment to creating positive change and improving lives worldwide. Personal Life 
LL Cool J's personal life and political engagements offer intriguing glimpses into the multifaceted aspects of his character beyond his illustrious career in music and acting. In the realm of relationships, LL Cool J's romantic journey includes a high-profile relationship with Kadada Jones, daughter of renowned producer Quincy Jones, from 1992 to 1994. He later tied the knot with Simone Johnson in 1995, whom he had known since 1987. Their enduring bond has resulted in a beautiful family of four children. Delving deeper into LL Cool J's family history, an episode of Finding Your Roots unearthed fascinating revelations about his ancestry. Through DNA analysis conducted by genetic genealogist C.C. Moore, LL Cool J discovered that his mother was adopted by Eugene Griffith and Ellen Hightower. Furthermore, he learned about his biological grandparents, Ethel May Jolly and Nathaniel Christie Lewis, shedding light on his lineage. Notably, LL Cool J also discovered a familial connection to legendary boxer John Henry Lewis, adding another layer to his family's legacy. Beyond his personal life, LL Cool J has been actively involved in political and social issues. In 2002, he endorsed George Pataki's bid for a third term as governor of New York showcasing his engagement with state politics. Moreover, his participation in a United States Senate committee hearing in 2003 regarding the RIAA's lawsuit against individuals distributing copyrighted music over peer-to-peer -peer networks highlighted his stance on intellectual property rights and the impact of illegal file sharing on musicians' livelihoods. During this hearing, LL Cool J voiced support for the RIAA's position emphasizing the detrimental effects of illegal file sharing on his sales and the livelihoods of session musicians. However, his views were countered by Chuck D., who argued for the potential benefits of free file sharing as a promotional tool and criticized the industry's stringent copyright enforcement. LL Cool J's political engagement extended to endorsing New York State Senator Malcolm Smith, with whom he collaborated to organize the annual jump and ball tournament in his childhood neighborhood of St. Albans, Queens. Additionally, in a 2012 television interview with CNN anchor Piers Morgan, LL Cool J expressed sympathy for President Barack Obama while asserting his independent political stance, highlighting his nuanced views on leadership and governance. In his 2010 book LL Cool J's Platinum 360 Diet and Lifestyle, LL Cool J included Obama in his list of admired figures, lauding the former president's accomplishments. These instances offer insights into LL Cool J's broader interests and engagements beyond the entertainment industry, showcasing his diverse perspectives and commitment to social and political issues. Thank you for joining us on this journey into the world of LL Cool J. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more inspiring stories. Until next time, stay cool. Goodbye.